Well, in our Gaelic Games section this weekend, we're looking forward to uh, an Ulster Junior Club Championship semi-final. Good to have the letter Kenny Gales men back in action once again. They're taking on Stewartstown of Tyrone on Sunday at Owen Begg. Uh, delighted to say Darren Hunter of the Gales joins us on the programme. Darren, uh, you're welcome along to, to Highland. Good to see you. Good to talk to you. Hi, thanks very much for having me. Well, Darren, what's it been like over the last last two weeks of training? Uh, I suppose the first thing is this time of the year, isn't it fantastic to be still involved in football? But I would say there's an extra sort of spice to it, an extra edge to training, given that you're going to a provincial semi-final. Um, yeah, that's it. It's, I suppose it's a bit surreal. Um, normally this time of year, times maybe the last thing you want to be doing is, is playing football or kicking a ball. But uh, I have to say I'm absolutely delighted to still be involved and still playing competitive games and still having things to play for. So and I think that probably echoes with the rest of the boys as well. So, um, no, it's been very, very good, very enjoyable. And it's it's great to be great to be part of something that's still going. Yeah, and obviously, you boys, we get a, a huge lift as well off the victory the last time out. Because, Darren, when you come from from eight points down in a, in a provincial game um, and then to snatch it then at the death and, and, and won it by one, uh, it was a fantastic result, but it was a fantastic bounce back from half time. It, uh, listen, it's, it's, it'll probably stick with me for a while. It was one of them ones. I know at half time going in, I knew we weren't probably at our, at our, we weren't near our best, to be quite honest. But even looking at the scoreboard, I was a wee bit surprised to realize how far we were behind. Um, and at that stage, I suppose there might be a wee bit of doubt and all the rest. But then we regrouped and we kind of set ourselves the targets of getting at it early. And thankfully, we did. And we just gradually clawed it back, clawed it back. Got an all-important goal then, and the momentum was with us. You could tell, and we had the breeze on our backs as well. So our tails were up when we drove on, but uh, now nah, it gives a serious a lift. Um, I'd say probably it was very similar to the Karen Dolly game in the in the county final because, like that, we were not as far down, but we were five down in that and came back. So we had that self belief from that game that we could do it and we could get back into it. So um, no, nah, it, it was it was unreal. It was very enjoyable to be a part of. Yeah, what was it like for you, you guys, as a group playing in an Ulster competition for the first time? I'll go back to what we experienced last Sunday with Neve Connell playing in Belfast. Uh, Ulster football is different. The referees have a tendency to let things go. It can be a lot more physical than than Donegal football. So it can. What was it like for you? Um, yeah, I suppose I was getting. I suppose the bus for a start was was nearly you to us. Um, we had been getting lifts all year, we got the bus up, so it was just that kind of extra special thing. Maybe that was part of maybe when we were slow to start or whatever. It was the two hour journey up. You know, you're getting food, and there was a lot of different things that you're not normal, not normally doing. But um, the occasion that as well, you know, you're you're very it's very structured and when you're supposed to be here and there and photographs and I suppose that's all a bit different. Takes a bit of get, getting used to, but. And that's where that's where everybody wants to be at. They're the they're the days that you remember and the days that you enjoy. Um, it was just good for us that that we came out the right side and we get to go out another day now. Yeah, and so it's a tough one as well, Darren. Stewart's Town, the Tyrone champions, well season side. They definitely are. Um, they've had a great year from from what I've seen about them so far. I think they've actually gone unbeaten. Um, so we know our, we're we're going to have a challenge on our on our hands, but. Um, as I know a lot of people chat about bonus territory, but you can go in and, and you can give it a rattle. Um, it, it might be considered bonus territory, but we're going to be fully confident that you know we're, go we're going to give it our best. We're not going to maybe be pushed over or whatever. We're going to be ones that maybe hopefully, if we can, to, to stop their unbeaten run. Um, we'll throw everything at it. But um, no, they will be good. Um, anything we've heard about them, they seem to be a fairly good team. But um, listen, every team you're going to play at this stage of competition is is obviously good. So uh, not another game. Uh, we won that. We keep going, and if we lose, well, well, that's that's the journey over. But and he's holding it. Yeah, and these maybe know as well, like the Donegal clubs have performed well in recent junior championship campaigns. Do, do you feel that this is a competition that just can go the whole way under? I suppose it's we we've we've been just taking it a game at a time. To be honest, um, when, when we had Derry News in the last game, it was just that was our fo sole focus, um, and then. This time around, like we've just been chatting about Stuart's Town, we haven't looked anywhere beyond that. Listen, it'd be the history. I know Downing's there have done well in recent years and Red Hughes before them and a few other teams have done well. So it does tell you that obviously coming out of junior, that the junior football in Donegal is obviously pretty good because teams do tend to go well. Um, so I suppose it does give that added bit of confidence that, you know, yeah, we can win when obviously if we're the junior champions this year in Donegal, maybe we have the capacity to go well as well. So um, no, listen, we'll go at it. We'll go at Stuart's Town and 
we'll see what happens Sunday. If we get over them, then it's just the next game and the next game or whatever. So one one game at a time is, is the way we've taken everything all year. It's been driven into us from the start. Just there's no point looking past anybody. Just take a game at a time. That's your focus and and see what happens. See where you're at after that. Yeah. What about the slow start this week? That can't happen, do you feel against the Tyrone side? <laughs> No, yeah. no, um, that's that's two games in a row there. So it's it's one of them ones. I'd say if we if we have the same, if we're if we're looking to only play for thirty minutes this this weekend, um, it could be the end of the road. So, um, there's no there's no average teams left. Um, you need to be at your best, uh, and that mightn't even be good enough. We just don't know. We'll see. So not we we can't afford a slow start. So if we can get out of the blocks early, get at it, and if we could put sixty minutes together, who knows what we could do. Yeah, uh, and what's the feeling around the club at the moment? Obviously, you guys as a group are working very hard and training and focusing uh, towards this. But I would say the response of the the members and the rest of those involved in the club's been been fantastic and very supportive. Darren, that's that's brilliant. Um, even the young boys there, I'd I'd help out with the minors a bit. Like, and they're up at all the games. They were traveling up with supporters buses, and you see some of the younger ones up with flags. And you know, it's it's brilliant to see it. It's brilliant for the club. Um, to get that bit of recognition um, and get that support, give the supporters something to cheer about because we haven't had very much of it, if we've been quite honest. Um, so no, it's absolutely fantastic and you meet people around and they're wishing you well and people from other clubs as well have been fantastic, you know, wanting us to do well as well. So it's nice, nice, nice atmosphere, nice, nice thing to be a part of. Um, something that we'll remember but um, no it's very very positive and it, it's good for a lot of the club members as well who have, have spent a lifetime in the doldrums there with maybe nothing to cheer about so it's good for them too because some of the work behind the scenes by I wouldn't even start naming people but um, it's incredible what people are doing there so it's good now that you know we're maybe getting somewhere and there's something to celebrate and something to cheer for so um, not for them it's, it's just as much for them as it is for, for us as a group too. Yeah many years now have you been kicking a ball with the Gales? Um, Jesus, I started when I actually started playing Gaelic a bit late. Actually, I think it was under 16s before I started playing Gaelic football. Um, so probably what's that? Maybe about 15 seasons or whatever I've been at it, and about probably 17 or eight, or about probably what did I say there, 15. So about 12 of them are probably at senior level. Mm. Um, so it's been a long time, a long time. Um, but listen, I've enjoyed it, and I'll, I'll continue to enjoy it. Hopefully for another couple of years yet. Yeah, do you still feel as young as what you were when you were 16, 17 years of age? <laughs> no, it takes a wee bit longer now to recover after the games and that. You you feel it a wee bit more, but um, no, I still love it. I, the, the appetite is there just as much as ever. Um, it's one of them ones still to be playing in November. And, um, you know, you're all ready. You're thinking about, you know, next year you have the Intermediate Championship to look forward to. You're still playing in Division 2. Like, so, you know, this year's not not even over yet. You're already thinking about, oh, I can't wait to get going again for next year. We haven't even finished yet. So, now the appetite's still there. So, and hopefully stay there for another while yet. Yeah, you don't mind the soreness when you're winning, do you, Darren? No, it's a bit easier when the, when you're coming out the right side. The results could be a different story if we if we weren't. You're, you're 100% there in that. Yeah, just back to the game then on, on Sunday. Uh, we'll have coverage here on, on Highland from that match. But what sort of a level of performance, uh, Darren, then are you going to need to get over the line in this one? Because you, you, you need to be very, sort of very realistic about the level of football now that you're playing at in Ulster. Yeah, listen, we're, we're going to have to be at our best and nothing short of that will be any good to us, I don't think. It is a very good opposition we're coming up against. Um, they've proven that they've, as they say, winning's a habit. They've been winning all year. Um, we've been winning quite recently, so hopefully, if if we're not at our best, you know, it, it could be the end of the road for us. So it has to be just we have to go at it, and we can't afford, as you said earlier, there, you know, a slow start or only playing for a half or whatever. So if we're if we're not at our best, I'd say we'll know about it early. But um, no, the the boys are moving well. The the atmosphere is good, and it's all there for us to to go at it and give it a proper rattle now on Sunday. Okay, well, we look forward to it. Darren, many thanks for joining us and uh, the very best of luck in, in the semi-final in Ulster this weekend. Thanks a million. Thanks for having me.